Well, this is another interesting thing you'll probably think about as soon as that ring goes onto your finger, your wedding cake. And I'm joined today by Linda Thomas from Cake Artistry by Linda. Linda is wonderful in that she talks to you about your colors, your gown, your selected venue, all these things, and then incorporates it into a cake like this. Linda, how did it come about? This is the start of, of a very beautiful okay. cake. In this particular cake, um, the bride gave me a little sample piece of her lace, and it's a, it was a French piece of lace, and I put it down beside her. Venue is in a, wedge, in a room called the Wedgwood Room, and she's working with all the blues and creams. Wonderful. And so I just simply took her lace, um, decided to cover the cake in fondant, and then piped her, her design right on the cake, mm -hmm. and then did some brush embroidery to make it look just like fabric lace. Can you take your little cone and show how sure. you do right. this beautiful lace work? Start with the center of the leaf and then um, sort of do more of a jagged there. I'm going to mm -hmm. turn the cake around a little bit. Okay. That's okay. And then look at how steady your hands are. It's just amazing. Thank you. And I guess practice does make perfect. What's this, your 500,000th cake that you've ever <laughs> made in your one, life? yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Okay, so that sort of picks up the pattern mm -hmm. of, of her gown. She had a lot of little twirly things, so I'll just bring another little twirly thing in here. Um, the fondant is the, is the kind of the blue part of the cake. The one thing I have to also compliment you on is the fact that you use no preservatives. Everything is natural. Yes, that's right. And to create the fondant, what are you using? Okay, in fondant we use the sugar paste, um, agar agar, glucose, um, gum arabic, and water. And then we mix that all up in a paste. Uh -huh. I'm just brushing in the pattern that this takes quite a while, so we'll just do a little one. And it, uh, and we, we mix it all up, uh, uh, we roll it all up, and, and it has to sit overnight to set. At that point I color it, and the color, this particular color matches her bridesmaid's gown oh, as great. well, where the cream picks up the tone of the bride's gown. Yep. Um, so we color it, let it set for 24 hours, and uh, that's when we actually start baking the cake as well. Great idea to use the colors from the attendants' dresses, but better still, how about the colors from your home? We're not done yet. Linda's got more wonderful ideas. You know what? Let me move this to the side because okay. I want to talk about this cake that you're going to do something okay. called crimping to. All and right. while I'm playing with this fondant, I'd love to kind of talk a bit about this treatment because it's, again, okay. all the fondant and this, you're continuing. This is very simple and it's not as ornate as that cake. This is called a crimper. And what I do with this, I'll have to stand up for this, is yep. I just go in when the fondant is still very wet and I just go in and start pinching this cake. And then um, I'm going to make some lazy S's on the top and do a few dots. Now we've already pre-done some of this mm -hmm. and we're going to paint this with a 24 karat edible gold. Oh, now good. it can only be 24 karat, yeah. anything less than that you're not supposed to eat it. This I've mixed with alcohol if there are alcohol allergies in, and I ask people that, mm -hmm. in anyone in their guest or their party then we can use, um, I use canola oil. But if not, then I use alcohol. And what's your, what's, what kind of, are you using like a vodka or a gin or something? Um, yeah, any white alcohol mm -hmm. will do. Oh. And then we just come along and paint and this just picks up the accents of gold in um, the fabric in the bride's gown. Or whatever little element. Whatever from the little event. touches. Now, I don't like to do a heavy metallic look in the wedding, unless they're all doing a big, heavy yeah. metallic wedding. Yeah, Metallica um, just, wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just little accents. And I also like to think that maybe we're bringing a little bit of prosperity into the wedding by sure. just adding gold right at the beginning. Absolutely. The biggest number, how many, highest number of layers you've ever done? Um, we've gone nine high. We had to go into the venue with a step ladder and measure <laughs> up to the last uh, crystal in the chandelier before we could figure out how high and setting up the, the cake. We had two step ladders and a platform going across to get to the top oh, layer with great. cake. Yeah. Okay, Linda, let's switch the cakes because I want the Wedgwood cake to highlight what okay. I think to be your the true beauty of cake artistry, which is your sugar flowers. Look at this. This is a sugar flower. Tell me this is not a day lily. Tell me that this is not a real tree peony. Linda, they're beautiful. And I'd love you to maybe show how they can enhance, let's say, a okay. cake like this. Okay. We ask a bride and a groom what their flowers are that they have chosen. We call the florist, go in, get a chance to check out their fridge and see what's new. We bring one back and then we copy the flower. And we, we fashion each flower, like we'll sit down and make each uh, flower, we'll see, do mm -hmm. it all veining and then we'll color it up. And then we just simply place them where they should go on the cake. 
Beautiful. Thanks. And then also your roses, and I guess that the final thing would be when you dust them with the final colors. That's each right. petal done by hand. Linda, it, I mean, it looks, honestly, it looks just like a, a real rose. With the roses, what we do is we, we add um, some of our powdered colors to them. And this one is a cream. Now, we don't always put yellow on yellow. We may subdue it down, but here's a little tint of cream. Do you see how that brings mm -hmm. up the shadow of the colors? <gasps> Look it to make it more realistic. And then we gather those into a corsage mm -hmm. and we put them on the cake. Beautiful. Well, I think actually any and all of these suggestions, whether it's the, the lace work, the small little crimping, the beautiful sugar flowers. Linda, you've proven that you can order your wedding cake and eat it too. And I love that. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Beautiful, beautiful.